Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to another edition of How I See It. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over Conor McGregor's post-fight interview, okay, after losing to Floyd Mayweather. So ESPN has put out this interview and y'all, you know I can't wait to dip and dabble in this because I want y'all to know how I see it. Oh my God, it excites me. Let's just see what he's got to say. What's this excuse, really? Put his forehead on the chest and start getting to walk and I... I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't anticipate that. But he completely changed his style and he came forward. So composure issue, I don't feel from a skill level. He, he's a composed man. He took the shots early. A panic, but he stayed very, very calm. That's just his years of experience. Last shots were crazy. Fourth, and then the fifth, I came back. I overcome it. If that was MMA, the ref wants to see our nose hanging off your face. He done it a little bit early, we thought. Well... Let me tell you something what I got to say about this. this is just the way I see it. I think that they both talked a bunch of good game. Conor McGregor was running his mouth off from the very beginning of, you know, this stage, whatever you want to call it. I want to say that because of the publicity that this fight had, that, you know, Dana, look, the marketing people, they all got together because Mayweather was not going to, like, come out of uh, retirement. Um, and McGregor just kept running his mouth. And then finally, you know, Mayweather was like, you know what? It's all about signing the papers. Signing the papers, we'll get this fight going. So then whenever that happened, oh, it was just a matter of, look, my management team knows that I'm retired. This guy here running his mouth and he wants to make a good start. So as far as a business tactic goes, McGregor's people was like, look, we're going to give you that lead way and that entrance into the boxing world, right? MMA is behind you. We're going to, you know, fluctuate and cross train you and we're going to do this and you're going to do it well. And we've got a path we're going to put you on, right, to make you hot. Mayweather, on the other hand, has got a reputation to maintain. So in order to actually come together and agree to fight, there was probably a list do not okay don't do this don't do that don't do this keep the faith and conor mcgregor said look i got a reputation to protect too and i've been the mouth and i can back it up and put us in that you know that cage together and let's see how many rounds we do then the final agreement was y'all both hang in there don't beat the crap out of each other last 10 rounds get the people what they want make this money worth it right because it's about how long you stay on this channel that's just me and then, or pay-per-view or whatever, everything's going to add up, right? And everybody's going to actually get their money's worth. I know a pay-per-view, it doesn't really make sense. But you had a lot of people, like, for real, for real, there was so many, um, what do they call it when you uh, bootleg in it? Like, everybody was bootlegging. You could watch it, like, so far, you know, on YouTube. You could watch it so far. on. It was just crazy. So, with that being said, I think it was a mutual agreement. One agreed not to beat me up too bad in the face, and the other one was like, let's last 10 rounds, let's give the people what they want, and let's market the heck out of this, make the most out of it, and let's do this. Now, I didn't see a lot of merch getting sold. Usually they got t-shirt sales. They got, I mean, look, this thing was highly publicized, so I was looking forward to it like concert venue type mer merchandise. <laughs> look, y'all, they did it. They gave us something to watch, and, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. That's how I see it. I see it as a whole business perspective. A marketing company was going crazy. We're like, ah, but we got ifs and we got don't do's. So with that being said, you know, this is what we have to look forward to in the future, the fights. Any fights that we look at, they're going to be probably staged. You know, you know what to do over here. You know what not to do over here. Don't ruin the reputation of the other fighter. You know, and after this, he's going to retire again. Now, if y'all watched that podcast, y'all seen the way Mayweather was kind of, you know, chicken foot and back, chicken foot and back. And it was like, what is going on here? That's not skill. And then, you know, Pacquiao came back and wrote a little tweet underneath there. State, you know what I mean? As long as you ain't running. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bless, blessed be in your next fight. So anyway, y'all leave y'all comments in the conversation below. Please like my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share the video with your mom and dad because you know they like me. And thank you for tuning in to How I See It.